Hey, hi, welcome back to Digit.in. My name is Vignesh. So you're in the market for an Asus gaming laptop for around 80,000 rupees. Yes. And you want something modern, obviously. Consider this then, the FX705 DT. This is Asus's newest addition in the uh, tough gaming series. It comes with an AMD Ryzen 7 processor, 8 GB of RAM and a 512 GB SSD. What it also comes with is Nvidia's GeForce GTX 1650 graphics card. Let's see how it did in our review. Okay, then let's talk about the build and design. The Asus FX705 DT is greatly similar to the smaller FX505 DY in a number of ways, including build and design. The top cover sports Asus's tough gaming signature radiating X design, which gives the laptop a healthy dollop of character. Like its brethren, its body is rigorously tested for durability and is certified to military standards. Our review unit came clad in black plastic panels for the top cover and the base panel. To my pleasant surprise, the 17-inch body of the ASUS FX705DT was not significantly larger or bulkier than that of the 15-inch FX505DY, despite weighing a good 2.7 kilograms. Transporting it from one room to another was much easier than I'd anticipated. The laptop provided me with ample grip around the sides and edges. The materials on the body also looked strong and hard bearing. What I liked in particular about the FX705DT was the compact size of its power brick. ASUS has trimmed the dimensions of its 150 watt AC power brick significantly and the difference can be felt while carrying both of them around. Mind you, the FX705DT is still a pretty large laptop. It is not for the frequent traveler. Pushing the display open requires the use of more than just one finger. Once it's opened, you see a large screen with fairly slim bezels on either side of the screen. The area around the keyboard has a brushed metal finish in black. Opening and closing, the display reveals just a bit of flex, which is quite obviously disappointing to note. Some flex is also observed on the base panel, especially while typing. On the whole, the build quality of the ASUS FX705DT is acceptable, but not particularly remarkable. Let's move on to the display. The display on the ASUS FX705DT measures 17.3 inches diagonally. The IPS LCD panel has a full HD resolution and an anti-glare matte finish. Sadly, its refresh rate is stuck at 60Hz. This may disappoint some users, but come on, ASUS had to cut costs somewhere to keep the laptop affordable. At 250 nits of maximum brightness, the display is bright enough for most working areas. As long as there's no extremely bright direct light over the display, you won't have any reason to complain. The colors on the display of the review unit were true and balanced without appearing overly saturated at any point. If anything, they appeared just a tad bit washed out at times. According to our test kit, the display is capable of reproducing 96% of the colors in the sRGB color space and 74% of the colors in the Adobe RGB color space, which is quite decent, really. Traces of light bleed from the backlighting are seen around the corners of the display, but it's nothing that can distract you while you're playing a video or a game. Sound through the two side-firing speakers of the laptop is underwhelming and disappointing. With the review unit placed on top of a stable tabletop surface in a quiet conference room, songs like Starboy by The Weeknd sounded bland and unexciting. Vocals were loud but even shrill at times. Lows and mids sounded muffled and sometimes even tinny. The overall sound output was rather jarring on the ears. Though the speakers are loud, they're best reserved for vocals only. You're better off getting a good pair of headphones for gaming and movie playback. Like its relatives, the ASUS FX705DT has all its ports on the left side of its body leaving the right side clear for the right-handed gamer's mouse. And so, on the left side, we see a round pin power port, a LAN port, a full-size HDMI port, a USB-A port, two USB-A 3.1 ports, and a 3.5mm audio jack for headsets. Gone completely missing from a laptop of this price are an SD card slot and a USB-C port. Owners of a DSLR will have to invest in a multi-card reader. This is one oversight ASUS could have really avoided. Let's move on to the keyboard. The keyboard on the ASUS FX705DT is quite comfortable for both gaming and regular typing. According to ASUS, each keycap has a short dimple to find the center easily. 
rated for 20 million keystrokes. The keys have a travel distance of 1.8 millimeters and need only 62 gram force from the user's fingers to reach the actuation point thanks to the company's overstroke technology. The keyboard comes with an integrated numpad but lacks dedicated keys for home, end, page up and page down functions. Unlike the ASUS FX505DY, whose keyboard has a single color backlighting, the ASUS FX705DT comes with an RGB backlit keyboard. The colors of the keyboard backlight can be changed one at a time using the bundled Armory Crate app. The W key 2 has a small bump on it for easier gaming. Whether it was gaming or typing long emails, the keyboard on the review unit felt pretty much at home. Strangely, this was not the case on the ASUS FX505DY, which has an identical keyboard setup. The touchpad on the ASUS FX705DT is a precision unit. This means that the laptop accepts multi-finger taps and swipes on Windows 10. The left and right mouse buttons inside the touchpad too are fairly easy to click. The only disappointment on the review unit was the unexpected play under the touchpad surface. I could feel the entire touchpad move inward by a whole millimeter without registering any inputs. Let's talk about performance now. The ASUS FX705DT is powered by an AMD Ryzen 7 processor with Radeon RX Vega 10 graphics. Additionally, it's accompanied by an NVIDIA GeForce GTX 1650 graphics card with 4GB of video RAM. This combination really isn't something we've seen on a laptop so far in 2019. The RAM on board is 8GB single channel, but it can be expanded all the way up to 32GB. The motherboard inside has two slots, one of which is already occupied. Strangely, Windows 10 on our review unit reported that only 5.94GB out of 8GB was usable RAM. Storage comes courtesy of a 512GB PCIe NVMe solid-state drive. In everyday use scenarios, the review unit performed expectedly well. The gaming laptop had no problems keeping up with medium-weight applications like Chrome, File Explorer, WhatsApp for PC, Word, and Excel. Even with multiple game launchers downloading content simultaneously, the laptop was comfortable running multiple instances of Chrome across multiple desktops. Continuing to work when Lightroom was extracting about 500 photos didn't ruffle the FX705DT even a bit. If anything, there was a rare stutter in animation, but it wasn't really hard to catch. To sum it up, the ASUS FX705DT should be able to take on most computing tasks you ask it to perform. Photo and video editing should also happen without any trouble. Okay, let's focus on gaming, that's what we're really here for. The NVIDIA GeForce GTX 1650-powered ASUS FX705DT is a competent machine for anyone looking to play popular titles on medium or high graphics settings. We recorded the highest frame rates on the ASUS FX705DT when we played Doom and Crisis 3. With graphics set to high, Doom and Crisis 3 ran at a median frame rate of 96 and 110 frames per second respectively. Both figures climbed to 104 and 118 respectively when the setting was turned down to medium. Actual gameplay of both games was smooth and stutter-free. Battlefield 5, Shadow of the Tomb Raider and Hellblade ran at nearly 60 frames per second. On high, the three games ran at a median frame rate of 48, 40 and 54 frames per second respectively. When the setting was lowered to medium, the median frame rate jumped to 51, 42 and 58 respectively. Gameplay on all three games was fairly smooth and free of any lags. In both settings, there was that occasional stutter in animation but it really wasn't a big bother. Apex Legends, although fully playable, ran a bit jerkily in both high and medium settings. In high, the median frame rate hovered around 66 frames per second, bringing the setting down to medium, bumped the median frame rate to about 68 frames per second. While there was no visible lag while playing Apex Legends, there were signs of screen tearing in action sequences. In summary, if you don't have any big dreams of gaming in ultra setting, you should be able to play most popular titles comfortably at around 50 frames per second in medium or even high on the ASUS FX705DT. Let's check the battery out. On our standard battery benchmark test, the ASUS FX705DT lasted 4 hours, 45 minutes. In comparison, the cheaper ASUS FX505DY lasted 3 hours, 30 minutes on the same test. 
in everyday use scenarios, the review unit lasted no longer than three and a half hours on battery. With the screen brightness set to 70%, Wi-Fi and Bluetooth enabled, the laptop went from 100 to 10% in three hours straight. During the tests, I was writing, browsing on the web, playing music through the earphones, and installing some lightweight applications. In summary then, the ASUS FX705DT is not the model to look at if you want over four hours of battery life. Oh well then, all things considered, I think the ASUS Tough Gaming FX705DT is a pretty good laptop, really. It comes with a large 17-inch screen that's quite color accurate. It also comes with fast internals and enough power to game. Huh, is there anything I'm not so fond of about this thing though? It's probably the overall build. It's quite plasticky for me. But hey, if it works for you, it works for me. Thank you for watching this video. I will see you in the next one. Bye. For the latest technology updates, subscribe to digit.in and don't forget to hit the bell icon.